this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and today I would like to explain to you how to configure sharing settings for a SharePoint site. Let me first explain to you what I'm talking about here. So look, by default SharePoint is set up for easy collaboration. What that means is that anyone who is the member of the site uh, can easily share the site or its contents with others. All right. And again, I'm talking about regular team members, not owners, sharing content with others. Uh, let me first demonstrate to you uh, kind of an example of what I uh, of this situation. So what I have here is a SharePoint site, uh, and uh, it, this happens to be an Office 365 group site, but it could be a regular site as well. And I have two members here, uh, obviously myself, an owner of this site, and then Mary, who is the member. Uh, so Mary, from SharePoint standpoint, uh, Mary is in this group over here in the site members group, uh, which means, you know, that Mary has added privileges, which means that Mary can add, edit, delete uh, content on the site. Another thing Mary can easily do, being a member of the site, Mary can easily share the whole site uh, with, um, with others as well as individual, individual files and folders. Um, let me just give you an example here. So I'm logged in as Mary here in this browser session. Uh, and what Mary can do, being a regular team member, is go to the gear icon, site permissions, and she can invite, you know, Mary cannot invite members to the group uh, because that's something I uh, only I can do being, uh, being, a, being an owner of the, uh, of the group. But what Mary can do is share the site with others. So uh, right here. And Mary decides to invite John. John is a colleague of Mary. Uh, and let's see what happens. Look at this. John is now in the site members group. So it was not me, the owner of the um, of, of the group or the owner of the site inviting someone else. It was my regular team member inviting someone else. All right. And if I go now uh, to, to my browser session over here, I'm logged in as Greg again. Uh, and if I do the site permissions, I'm going to see the same thing. Look at this. Mary invited John and now John has uh, pretty much the same privileges as Mary. Um, John can add, edit, delete everything on the site. And you know, obviously that's scenario number one. Scenario number two, um, if Mary did not want to invite John to the whole site, uh, she could also just, you know, share an individual uh, file or folder uh, by, you know, by pretty much doing the sharing or copy link buttons. All right. Uh, and this is how SharePoint, um, you know, is set up. It's set up uh, for easy collaboration. So by default, when you provision a new site, um, or whether it's a regular site or an Office 365 group site, it's set up for easy collaboration. So that means that anyone can invite anyone uh, into the site. Now, what this video is all about, uh, this video is about adjusting this behavior, all right? Uh, in case if you want to restrict sharing, you can actually, uh, as a site owner, uh, you can actually do it. Uh, let me demonstrate. Uh, let me demonstrate this uh, to you. Um, let me first uh, remove uh, John uh, from my site. Uh, you know because Mary invited him, and I really don't want John uh, on my site anymore. Here we go. So uh, back uh, back to uh, the original, I guess, uh, settings. Um, so um, let me first show you how you, as a site owner, can can adjust or kind of prevent this behavior. Uh, if you go to the gear icon and click on site permissions, and of course you need to 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 be logged in as a site owner, right? Uh, this is not the functionality that's available to um, to regular site members. You will see this section over here called under sharing settings called change sharing settings, and this is a relatively new screen that we have now. The functionality that you see here is not new. All right, we had this functionality uh, for many, many years. Uh, in the past, just to show you, just to show you uh, how we used to adjust sharing settings in the past. In the past, you had to go to advanced permissions and you had to click on, this is of course the classic 
kind of um, looking uh, screen and then you had to also click on access request settings and over here uh, this is where you would adjust uh, the pretty much the behavior and prevent either the site sharing or file or folder sharing uh, you, you could uh, enable or disable access requests all of this is now possible from that you know screen I showed you previously uh, pr pretty much you, you know you no longer need to go uh, kind of to the back end to this classic screen to adjust that this is how we used to do it uh, but again if you now go to um, gear icon uh, site permissions here we go and under change sharing settings you will pretty much see the same choices just in the modern uh, kind of look and feel you know format all right and um, if you read over here, I mean, this is where you can kind of adjust the behavior of the um, of the sharing settings. So by default, if you notice, uh, it tells you over here, site owners and members can share files, folders, and the site. All right, so pretty much by default, uh, it's Wild West <laughs> of sharing. Everyone can invite others into the site, files, and folders. All right, what you can do though, is you can adjust this behavior. Um, you can kind of choose this middle option where uh, members and owners can still, um, uh, you know, share the, um, the the files and folders, but only site owners will be able to share the whole site. So if we choose this option, we will pretty much prevent uh, Mary from inviting John into the whole site, but Mary will still be able to invite, um, you know, share a particular file or folder with John. And if you want to completely uh, disable sharing, you would choose this option over here, uh, which means that site owners can still, um, you, you know, share the content, but uh, regular site members will not be able to. So I will, I will actually, I would like to choose this option because I would like to show you uh, what will happen, um, you know, should your users uh, still decide to share the information. On the access requests um, um, section, uh, you can enable or disable uh, access requests. Uh, request and what that means is that in case let's say somebody discovers the URL right you know they they found out the URL of your site uh, when they um, when they make it to this URL and they are not part of your uh, site uh, they will obviously get access denied uh, message uh, but what you can do if you enable this uh, um, this option on if you allow this uh, option to be enabled what that means is that there will be um, there will be kind of a message uh, on that uh, access denied screen uh, asking them to um, you know send you an email um, uh, and uh, what will happen is if they click on that um, you know if they send your request to join the site um, you you as a site owner will get uh, the email um, a message with the with the either approval or rejection uh, of their request. So it's kind of a graceful way, right? Instead of the user <laughs> encountering the access denied message and nothing else, it's just a kind of a nice way uh, from end user standpoint to um, to request access. And of course, as a site owner, you can either uh, approve that request or reject it. And, and then if you do allow, um, if you do allow um, access requests, uh, you can actually specify who the email, right? Uh, who the email, um, will, will be sent to, and you can actually specify even a, a custom message, um, you know, kind of saying what will happen after the submit the access request. And you can specify a specific email address, uh, who the access request will go to, or by default, it will go to all the accounting owners. Um, I'm sorry, not accounting, all the site owners. Um, uh, this just happens to be the name of my, <laughs> of my site. Uh, so essentially the, the request will be sent to, to anyone who is the admin uh, of the site in case if we have multiple uh, owners. All right, so let's leave it at that. I'm going to pretty much disable sharing altogether, as you can see, and I'm going to save this. All right, perfect. So I adjusted my sharing settings. Let me show you what will happen now if Mary decides to still share the site. Remember, I uh, so I'm logged in as Mary over here. I uh, disabled sharing altogether. So now let's see what happens when Mary decides to invite uh, John into the site. So now this doesn't mean that she will not be, as you can see, Mary can still get to all these different buttons. I mean, she can still, you know, the share button does not go away. Uh, but now if I invite John, 
So look at this, nothing happened. You see, <laughs> remember last time when I did this? Uh, let me repeat it again. Uh, I typed in John, um, you know, John's email address. Here we go. Uh, John's name. Here we go. Click add. Nothing happens. All right, John is not part of the site um, automatically like he used to be. So now remember, I prevented file and folder sharing as well. So if now uh, Mary decides to share, let's say this file uh, with uh, someone else, uh, look at this. First of all, it grays out the the other type of link, right? People in your organization link because of what you know. Essentially, it kind of restricts now um, the access to the users who already have access uh, to this uh, to the site to this content. All right. Uh, so that's why we don't even have this option. Now, if Mary decides to still test specify the, um, you know, John and, you know, use this type of link specific people, let's see what happens. So here we go. Mary is trying to share this file with John. Let's see what happens. Look at this. It comes up, this, er this uh, message comes up, uh, sharing pending approval. So essentially, it doesn't totally prevent uh, Mary from sharing the, um, you know, the, the, the file with, uh, with, uh, with John, uh, but because we kind of disabled it for regular team members, uh, a, an email has been sent to, to the approver, me in this case, because I'm the site owner, and uh, I will get an email where, where I can either approve or reject uh, Mary's request. All right, so as you can see, um, as a site owner, you you have uh, kind of this flexibility in terms of adjusting the uh, the sharing settings uh, for your site, and this is a really nice feature. Um, a nice feature in case if you need to restrict um, uh, to restrict sharing uh, for your site, maybe for obvious reasons you have some confidential content, and you kind of want to prevent uh, you know sharing um, um, intentional or unintentional uh, by your team members. All right, so uh, hopefully you learned something new today. As always, um, uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.